Hello students, in this video we'll find an improper integral for using the sinc function by using Fubini's theorem. We're going to consider the integral from 0 to infinity of the sinc function, which is just the sine of x over x dx. We're going to evaluate this integral, which we can see converges. It doesn't converge, it doesn't converge absolutely, but it converges. We're going to see what it's equal to by using Fubini's theorem, and the idea is the following. We're going to write this as the double integral from 0 to infinity, the integral from 0 to infinity, of e to the negative xy, and then I'm going to have a sine of x, then I'm going to have a dy dx. We can check to see this works because if I look at the antiderivative, if I was just simply do this, the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative xy with a dx, with a dy over here, what that would be is that would be e to the negative xy over what? Over negative x evaluated from 0 to infinity, the top limit would be 0 in the right range, and the bottom limit would be 1 over x. So in this way, this term over here, this, in, this inner integral over here, will give me a 1 over x. Now, by Fubini's theorem, I can change limits of integration. So by Fubini, we can change limits of integration to the integral from 0 to infinity. Integral 0 to infinity, the limits don't change. But now I have a what? Now I have an e to the negative xy sine of x, and then I'm going to have a dx dy. Now, if we look at this inner integral over here, what this is, is this integral over here can be evaluated as a function of y. In fact, what we see is we can recall that these integrals are just Laplace transforms. The integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative xy sine x with the dx is going to be 1 over y squared plus 1. This just falls from the fact that the Laplace transform of sine of t as a function of s is equal to 1 over s squared plus 1. So you can either you can also check this by integration by parts. It's a simple formula to verify by integration by parts, or check with integration by parts. Okay. And so what this will turn into is this is going to be the integral from 0 to infinity. Now this inner integral here is just going to be a 1 over y squared plus 1 dy. And now this is just the what? This is just the tangent inverse of y. It's the tangent inverse of y evaluated from y equals 0 to infinity. And so we're just going to get that this is the tangent inverse of infinity minus the tangent inverse of 0. That, of course, is 0. And this, of course, is pi over 2. So we've just shown that the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of x over x dx is equal to pi over 2. Thank you very much.